Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to episode number 17 of our Islanders GM mode. So in last episode, we simmed the remainder of the season. We didn't do any moves at the trade deadline, but uh, we still finished in uh, the top eight in our conference. So we are in the playoffs in round number one up against the Tampa Bay Lightning, who was the team that eliminated us two years ago. So uh, it's a bit of a redemption time. They have home ice in the series. I think last series we might have had home ice, but I'm not 100% sure. But let's see what their lineups look like for this year. They're probably going to be still the same, uh, but uh, or for the most part they should be similar. But let's see if they changed up their team at all going into this year. So they went to the Stanley Cup final actually the year we lost to them. So hopefully uh, we could beat them this year. So. That's what their lineups look like. So Kucherov, Stamkos, and Plot still the same line, but 88, 96, 88. So that's a scary first line. Uh, second line, they have William Nylander, Nemesnikov, and Drew. An so Nemesnikov looks like he's grown a lot. So you got an 89 and an 88 on the second line. That's dirty. And an 85 Drew, and that's not the best. It could be better, but not bad. Uh, third line, you got an 85, an 83, and an 84. That's a pretty solid third line. And then fourth line, 82, 83, 81. So not the best third line, but not too bad. So they got a prospect guy, looks like two prospects, actually. And then they picked up Brandon Peary, I guess, on free agency or something. Um, defensively, they got Victor Hedman with Slater Cuckoo. So a nice number one, but not a nice number two. And then they got Rory Patrick, who was a pick in last year's draft. Um, second round pick, actually, too. With Spencer and in Wisniewski with uh, Rammer. Is that Rammer's last name? Yeah, I think that's Rammer's last name. Like the guy who, uh, one of the guys who make EA, uh, the NHL series. That's funny. Uh, Randy Ram Singh. I don't even know how to pronounce it, but Rammer with Wisniewski so you got basically a really weak top four uh or well bottom four and you got a, a good number one defenseman but not really a good number two so their defense is really really weak in comparison to ours I think um goaltending Vasilevsky's up to a 90 so that's very nice but their backup is pretty weak he's actually a high HL starter Connor Ingram uh, they drafted him in 2016, so in real life they drafted him, I believe. That means, yeah. So, let's just see what EA draws it up against. So, overall-wise, they beat us in offense, we beat them in defense, and they beat us in goaltending. So, hopefully we could uh, just score a lot on our defense, considering our defense is pretty weak. So, yeah, let's start up round number one against the Tampa Bay Lightning. Hopefully we have a better matchup against them this year than the last time we played them in the playoffs. So game number one in Tampa. Wow, we already got a power play chance. First period is scoreless. So it's shots six to six. So not a lot of shots for both teams, but it's an even first period. Second period still scoreless. Uh, they're out shooting us now though, 21 to 14. Uh, so guys, we need to get some more offense going, and um, whoever's in that Soderstrom or Grice, just keep doing what you're doing. And look at that, Ryan Pulock, the young man, a uh, young defenseman, comes through with a goal early in the third to make it one nothing for us. And Josh Bailey, fourth line, makes it two nothing. So your New York Islanders have a two nothing lead late in the third. Just lock it down, boys. Lock it down. And we're going to take game number one, two, nothing. Nice. And a good 32 save performance by whoever was in that. So let's just see. Player sets. Stuff like that. So Pulock from Letty and Sunstrom and Bailey from Hamannick and Sunstrom. So Sunstrom came in to play for Sezikis because Sezikis went down with an injury late in the season. So looks like he had a great first playoff game. And you know, Soderstrom, who played his very first playoff game as well, making a 32 save shutout. So, very nice first game. We shut off their good offensive group, and then we uh, scored on their weak defense. So, game number two, also in Tampa Bay. If we could take t both games in Tampa Bay, that would be very nice, but 
I don't know if we will. And going back home would be nice with the 2 nothing series leads. And if we won one, we'd be in the driver's seat. So let's send up the scout to Quebec. Um, so yeah, game number two. In Tampa Bay, I'm not going to change anything really with the Lions because we had a great first game. First period, it didn't scoreless again. So 12-9, to nine, the shots for us this time, but still scoreless. Second period, we're up 2 nothing. Barzell and Hosang, the two young men, uh, make it 2 nothing for us going into the third period. So their offense has not showed it up at all. They have not scored in five periods. Um, we're out shooting them 20-18 to 18 now. So third period underwent. They got a power play, but nothing there for them either. So that's nice. And John Tavares makes it 3 nothing for the Islanders. Very nice. Is Soderstrom actually going to do this? Holy shit. Soderstrom maybe with back-to-back -back shutouts in the first two games on their home ice. Holy crap, man. Yeah, Soderstrom with back-to-back -back shutouts. He's made now... He had 32 saves in the last game, so he's made uh, 59 saves without allowing a goal in the first two playoff games of this series, both in Tampa Bay. So, wow, what a performance by the young man. Holy shit. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling him a young man, because I think he's a bit older than I am, or he might be a bit younger than me, but still, what a good first two games. 2-0 two win, and then a 3-0 win. So now we're back home. With a 2-0 series lead. So if we even win one of these games. We'll have a 3. Uh, a, well a good chance of ending the series. So let's just keep it up guys. And see if uh, Soderstrom can as well. First period. Scoreless again. So another scoreless period. Um, so Soderstrom still has not allowed a goal. In 7 straight periods. They have a shot, a shooting us 14-8. So. I have a feeling in the second period they'll solve us, but let's see anyways. And no, they don't. <laughs> Holy shit. Eight periods, no goals allowed by Soderstrom. This must be some rookie record. Holy. They're out shooting us now 25-19. Going into the third period. Let's just keep it up, boys. <laughs> Holy crap, man. I can't believe how Soderstrom's been playing in these playoffs. Because, like, he's only an 84, but damn, he's really, like... Showing that he is going to be our future starter probably for a few years. Quite a few years, actually. And look at that. It's going to be going to overtime. They're out shooting us 33-32. Still anybody's game, looks like. But damn Soderstrom, man. This guy is a stud right now. He wants that, uh, what is it, that award. And look at that. ho Sing wins it in overtime. Three straight shutouts to start a fucking uh, round one playoffs. That's insane. Josh Hosang from Barzell and Letty. So that line's been playing great in the playoffs too. But a huge performance from from uh, our goalie in um, Soderstrom. So HL season has ended. So our HL team's up against uh, the Rochester Americans. So after this playoff round, I guess we could quick s or slow sim their round their first round of playoffs because we're only like 10 minutes into this episode so but damn like there's nothing i really need to change like look at this though like we're gonna go to the player stats quickly just to show you or not for regular season but soderstrom had actually had a horrible regular season for goals against and stuff but at least we made the playoffs still but like these playoffs he's literally just been like crazy good um let's see goalies like, look at this. Three game, uh, games played, zero goals against, and three shutouts. Like, I know in the next series, if we're going to the next series, um, it's not going to necessarily be the same, but we've managed to shut down their top uh, line, uh, top two lines, which have, like, a lot of 88s and 89s and 96 Steven Stamkos. Just Tampa Bay, even though they had a very good regular season, they have not been able to solve... Uh, line of solar stream. So I guess we'll go on the game number four because I don't really need to make any line changes. So the HL game will be quick simmed. Hopefully the HL team did good in that game. So first period they finally solve us. They only got one goal though. Uh, Matthew to Chuck tied it up though and Jonathan Green for them. So anybody's game still second period. They get three now. So still a good performance though in those first three games. You can't 
fault, uh, so to at all. So, Nylander and Stamkos came back with two unanswered goals. We were up 3-1 at one point, Pulak and Barzell. So, Barzell's line is still playing very well. Uh, so, hopefully, we have a good third period here. So, Soderstrom just locked down the fort like you've been doing in every single third period uh, in the series. And offense, we need a goal. <laughs> Even for shots, pretty much in this period too. So, so, and it looks like, yep, another overtime period. We're out shooting them thirty-one to thirty. Let's go, boys! Power play in overtime. Long ass fucking power play. And five on three. Come on, guys. We need to go. Oh my god! And we don't score. That's surprising as shit. We're out shooting them badly now, and there's another power play. Nothing. Holy. We're out shooting now 46 to 34. So we had a very good uh, first overtime period, but we weren't able to solve um, Vasilevsky. So let's continue. And look at that. John Tavares early into the second overtime wins it. So we sweep the Tampa Bay Lightning in round number one. Very nice. So there's the points. Not going to go through them all. But a very good first series. A nice sweep of the. Tampa Bay Lightning, so there's the three stars, Tavares, Barzell, and William Nylander, all with one goal, one assist. So, still good performance, though, in four games, only allowing three goals for, um, for Lena Soderstrom. So, our NHL team's on to round number two. Um, so, yeah, let's simulate a day. I think our AHL club should be playing soon. Wait, let's just check our AHL, do our AHL playoffs. As much as we can. So HL team won five to three against Rochester in game number one. So game number two is also on home ice because it looks like our HL team got home ice advantage over a lot of teams. So first period is two nothing for them. Bryson Martin, I think that is, and not sure about the Suzuki guy. Uh, they're up four one now. Cornell and Hudson fashing. Flork gets us on the board. We got three, or two, three unanswered, but we don't get enough as Beauvillier and Finn get goals in the third. But we're going to lose game number two. So it's a tie series in the AHL. Our NHL team shouldn't be playing too soon because we swept the first round. But hopefully the second round we have a opponent that's kind of the same so we could beat them as well. Scoreless in the first. And it's a 2-2 game going into the third as they were up 2 nothing. But Michael Froelich and Andronov make it a tie game. So, third period underway. Well, like, slow soon is, I guess. I right, know, let's just quick submit. So, 4-2 loss. Estevan and Luke Phillip. Oh, uh, that's not that bad, I guess. And, let's see. Is that NHL? Uh, Zizikas is back from injury. So, that's good news going into uh, the next round as we are back to full health, hopefully. As long as Sezikis doesn't re-injure anything. So Sezikis back into the lineup. Soderstrom, or not Soderstrom. Uh, Sundstrom out. So yeah, Sezikis is fully back from injury. So AHL team is now down 2-1. to one, So they have to win this game. Come on, AHL team. And we're down one nothing. Calico. Uh, and we're down 2-1. Tarasov gets us on the board. So our draft pick from year number one, I think. Round number two. Um... Gets us on the board at least. Come on, guys. Okay, I'm going to quick some in. Yeah, 3-1 loss. So our HL team falls to the Rochester Americans in four games after winning the first game. So not very good, but our NHL team is on the round number two, and that's the more important part. And who are we going to go up against, guys? We're going to put it right to the first game. The Toronto Maple Leafs. Wow, and Toronto went seven games in their first series. So they eliminated Montreal. So that's what the next round looks like. So you got Pittsburgh and Philadelphia. You got us in Toronto and San Jose and uh, Winnipeg and Calgary and, and or not Anaheim, Arizona. So yeah, the West doesn't look that strong really. So not too bad there. And we'll quickly save that. So next round is against Toronto. I don't know. Yeah, we haven't played Toronto in the playoffs before. I don't think. Unless we played them. Did we play them in round number one last year? Or two years ago? 
No, we played Ottawa. So yeah, this is the first matchup against Toronto. Um, I'm just going to look at their lines so you guys can see for next episode. Um, considering we're only 15 minutes in, so let's just check what their lines look like. I'd imagine they have a bunch of their youngsters like on their top lines and stuff like that because obviously they've grown. But they did trade Wade William Nylander to Tampa Bay, who we just eliminated. So, so that's what their first line looks like. Austin Matthews, as expected, with Kasperi Kapanen and Timoshov. So that's a pretty good first line for the most part, except for Timoshov. I would have probably put JVR up there instead. Uh, second line is JVR, Marner, and Perron. So that's a pretty solid second line, except for Perron, really. Third line, they have Kadri with Reichel and Soshnikov. So pretty good third line. Their center core is pretty nice, actually. And then Nolan Patrick is now with the Toronto Maple Leafs, so he actually made the team. Uh, he was the second overall pick, so yeah, that's going to be crazy when they have Matthews and Nolan Patrick as their top two uh, centermen. And then I guess they would put Mitch Marner on the wing, or they might trade him. I don't know what they'll do. But yeah, so the fourth line has Nolan Patrick, who has very good sh skating, good shooting, uh, puck skills, senses, and actually everything pretty much physical. And then there's Leo Komarov and Matt Martin. Defensively, they have Morgan Riley, uh, Martin Marinson, Jake Gardner, and Jared Cowan. They have Frederick Gauthier playing defense, which is kind of weird. Don't know why. And then they have Zach Hyman also playing defense. So, obviously, their defensive core is not the best. But uh, these two guys have okay defensive stats, not Zach Hyman, but... So that's that. And their goaltending, Frederick Anderson and Jonas Enroth. And so, yeah, that's, let's just see what EA has their stats at and see if ours are better than theirs. So we have better offense than they do. Uh, we have better defense also, and they have better goaltending. So it's just going to come down to if their goaltenders could stop our guys. So that's going to do it, guys, for episode number 17 of our Islanders GM mode. So we'll see you guys back up here when we play the Toronto Maple Leafs in round number two. Thanks for watching.